let's go back to our Philippine history. But first, what is the word hero for you? A word hero is the one who sacrificed his life and offered his life to his people who is brave as a good leadership and a great warrior to his constituents and lastly who loves our country very much and who is willing to give his full blast and give everything they have without expecting something in return but who are the national heroes for our beloved country philippines they are the perez arizal andres bonifacio Emilio Aguinaldo, Apolinario Mabine, Marcelo H. Del Pilar, Sultan Kodarat, Juan Luna, Melchora Aquino, and Gabriela Silang. They are the well-known Philippine national heroes. But then, we have unknown Filipinos who are worthy to become a hero. One of them is Gliceria Mariela Villavicencio Who is Gliceria Mariela Villavicencio? Well, she was born on May 13, 1852 in Taal, Batangas. She was the third child of the seven children and the daughter of Vicente Mariela and Gertrudez Ligas. They were a wealthy family. At the age of 12, she attended the Santa Catalina College in Intramuros. When Gliceria's sisters died, she had to take on the responsibility of managing the family state. In October 1871, Gliceria married Eulalio Villavicencio, a wealthy ship owner who also came from a rich family. Together, Eulalio and Gliceria contributed a large portion of their fortune and effort to reinforce the Philippine Revolution. Casa Villa Vicencio, a house on the hilltop, was gifted to her as a wedding gift by her husband. The house is used as a place for refuge and as a secret meeting site of the revolutionary leaders. When the Spaniards found out that there was a call for revolutionary activities, there was frequently searched by the Guardia Civil. Later on, Eulalio was arrested on charges of sedition and inciting rebellion. Gliceria was pleaded in Manila for her husband's release. Gliceria was given the offer by the Spaniards of having her husband's release from prison in exchange of any secrets in Katipunan. However, she refused the offer despite her love for her husband. And she said, I would consider it insanity to carry his surname if I should obtain his liberty by betraying him and his cause. Yulalio was later finally released in 1898 but died after three months due to his degraded health condition in February 1898. The death of her husband had inflamed her fashion for supporting the revolution against the Spaniards. Glaceria Mariela Villavicencio used up many of her wealth to extend material aid to the insurrectos. Out of the many, she had given the most notable was the donation of her ship, the SS Bulusan, which was used in transporting Filipino soldiers armaments, ammunition, and food supplies for the maintenance of the Filipino Revolutionary Forces. It was the first warship made available to the revolutionaries. Apart from distributing revolutionary literature, Gliceria and her husband donated 
18,000 pesos to result in 1892 to support the movement. She was a founder of the Battalion Maloya, gave financial and moral support to the revolutionaries, and continually provided food, clothing, and ammunition to the soldiers. Her house became the secret meeting place of the revolutionary leaders, including Andres Bonifacio, General Miguel Malwar, and General Marasigan. Glyceria died on September 25, 1929. She is also known as Angel of Revolutionary. For her heroic role in revolution, she was given the title Madrina General de las Fuerzas Revolucionarias or Matriarch General of the Revolutionary Forces on June 12, 1898. That was Glyceria Mariela Belavesencio. She is deserving to be well known as a national hero.